Welcome back guys, Rafi Ray here. Welcome back to the channel. Today in this unbox video, we'll be unboxing the Feiyu Tech Wearable Gimbal 2 and also the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Stay tuned for a full review of the Feiyu Tech Wearable Gimbal and also a full review of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. And also, let's not forget that if you like this content, this type of videos and things like that, like and subscribe to my channel. That way you guys know when I'm putting a video. Make sure to hit that bell icon. That will let you know immediately when I post new videos. So with that said and out of the way, let's get on with this unboxing. Okay guys, so let's start by unboxing the Fade U Tech first and then we're gonna do the GoPro. So let's do a cut and remove the plastic and also make sure to check the links below for more information about these devices. All right now, so now let's slide the box out and open the box. And the first thing that we see here is actually a hello card from Feiyu, which includes a warranty card and also the instructional manual. So let's start getting the items out of the small neoprene bag. And as we're opening this bag, we get to see that all the parts come inside this bag. The first accessory here is the micro USB cable, which is used to charge the gimbal. And this plate right here is also to mount a GoPro Sessions camera to the gimbal. Also, as part of the included accessories, we get this tripod quarter inch mount that can be used to mount the gimbal in a tripod. And finally, we take out the wearable gimbal too. And there is nothing else inside the bag. Now looking at the build quality of these materials, this gimbals, I'll say it is made out of a strong aluminum and the buttons feels great too. And as we can see here is where you can mount this gimbal to a tripod or to a wearable clip adapter. Okay, so that was it for the unboxing of the Feiyu Tech WG2. Now let's take an in-depth close look of the gimbal itself. So the main button and only button on this device is the power button. It's the same button that you can program the gimbal to do other functions as well. At the back, we see the wearable mount and the same goes for the tripod mount at the bottom. Now in the front, we have the status light that will turn red, green or blue depending on the status of the gimbal. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the GoPro attached to the gimbal. Just make sure that the screws are tight because you don't want the camera to become loose with all the movement they will be doing. Also remember that this gimbal allows you to use different type of action camera, not just GoPro cameras. So keep that in mind when making the purchase of this gimbal. All right, so now the time has come to do the GoPro Hero 7 Black unboxing. All right, so one of the main reasons why I got this camera is because it can record at 4K at 60 frames per second. And the Hero 5 here that I have right here, the black one could not do that. So the Hero 5 can only do a 4K at 30 frames per second. That is one of the major reasons why I am upgrading. And also the improved image stabilization that is now offered in the Hero 7 Black. All right, so let's start unpacking the GoPro and as we can see here comes already like pre-packed right here on the top and then inside is going to be all the accessories. Now uh, side by side comparison is going to be the Hero 7 and the Hero 5 and as you can tell here in the front the difference is going to be that the 7 is now actually black instead of being gray and the Hero 5 is still gray so finally we have a camera that matches its name. So let's unscrew the camera from the box and now once we unscrew it we get it out of the box and when we open the box we see here that all the accessories are in one area and the first thing that we take out is the battery is the GoPro battery which I highly recommend you invest and get more batteries because this is going to run out very quickly for you also here is the uh, flat 3m tape for any mount solutions right there and then also the uh, helmet one that you can put in round uh, objects and then we see here the USB-C cable to charge your GoPro, which I wish a lot of companies start adapting now and utilizing USB-C for their devices. And finally, inside we have the instructional manual, you know, that everyone reads 
Perfect. And around the box, we see here a paperwork of the uh, GoPro Plus services. I highly recommend you check that out and also how to put on the battery. And on top of that, we get to see more paperwork and things like that and the famous GoPro stickers. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at the GoPro Hero 7 Black and what it has to offer. Again, so these are some of the uh, options why I definitely upgrade to this GoPro Hero 7 from my GoPro Hero 5. One thing is going to be the hyper smooth, making sure that image is stabilized. And the other big thing is going to be the 4K 60 frames per second that this camera can produce. And remember that you can always use the GoPro app to view any footage or share your media. Alright, so that was the unboxing of the GoPro Hero 7 and the Feiyu Tech Wearable Gimbal 2. So that was it guys, you guys get to see what came inside the uh, Feiyu Tech Wearable Gimbal 2, which is right here. And also all the stuff that came inside the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black camera. Stay tuned for the full review of these two devices right here. I will do an extensive review so you guys get to see what it's like and how is it to pair up and does it work? Is it worth it getting the investment in an extra uh, gimbal for your GoPro Hero 7 Black? So stay tuned. Make sure that you also follow me on social media, RafiRay underscore. And remember also to subscribe to the channel if you like this type of videos and more. So that and also hit that bell icon to be notified for more videos like this. With that said, again, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. Rafi Red, signing out.